My next guest is a comedian, a writer, an actress. You'll know her, of course, from Taskmaster and uh, QI, as well as dramas like This Way Up and Living With Yourself, alongside Paul Rudd. Uh, today, though, Ashley B is back with her new show, Last One Laughing Ireland, where there's just one rule, don't laugh. <laughs> You see, the problem is it is funny. Yes. But you're not allowed to laugh. So there's, yeah. two, there's two jobs for you. You have to make the others laugh. And not laugh. But or you're smile not yourself. Or smile or snigger anything at all. Nothing at all. Or you're out of the game. And yeah. that's basically it, isn't that's it? That's basically it. And you're, you're kind of like, oh, how will this be entertaining? But I cannot... It's funny, when I remember recording the show, because we were in there for eight hours, like a sort of science experiment. It's Big Brother-esque, isn't it? It, it? is, it's it cameras is. Everywhere. And I watch so much reality TV, and it won't be a spoiler, but like I'm the first one in. And I did think to myself, oh no, am I suddenly on like below deck? Like, what, what have I signed up to here? And then when everyone started coming in, it, you do get an insight on... It's not reality TV, it's very much a comedy show. But you do get an insight as to how many of those shows you do forget the cameras are there. Mm. And when you hear people talking like that on Love Island or, you know, Real Housewives, you're like, how could you forget? But suddenly, like, by the end of this, we were all absolutely hammered. <laughs> And I, no, all of us were like, God, what did, what did we say by the end of that? Those the eight anxiety hours kicks in afterwards. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's a surprisingly fun premise. Like when I remember recording it with the bits I do remember, I actually remember having a really good laugh. Oh but we don't smile or laugh. Yeah, the not allowed to. So, yeah. There's a yellow card system and a red card. Yes. Because there's a lot of money at stake here for your chosen exactly. charity. Exactly. So you're playing for your charity. So it means that you don't want to like sack it off and just mm -hmm. go ha, ha 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 like you're playing for something serious so that kind of keeps you going but it, it, it's funny how um how silly it gets and i think people will see a lot more there's there's other versions of it. there's one in canada there's one in sweden and this one's the first irish version with all irish comedians and obviously lovely graham hosting and i think you'll get to see a lot more of what it's like for comedians backstage it, it falls a lot more into that sort of like how you make your friends laugh yes because we're not playing for the audience we're playing for each other to try and make them laugh. Uh -huh. And if you try and do bits that you think people at home might want, it doesn't work because we can all sniff that out yeah, yeah. really quickly. And you knew quite a few of them, so I don't know if that yeah. helps or it hinders. Does, it hinders, yeah. totally hinders, for two reasons. First of all, you always find your friends funnier and they know how to get you. And second of all, what I was worried about was you don't want to leave someone hanging. There's nothing worse. Like if you made a joke now and I sat there and went, You'd feel so awful. You'd go home and, and think about it for the rest of your life. Um, so in this, I, I was afraid I'd naturally laugh at a friend because I wanted to support them. Mm -hmm. So so that's the kind of two ways you can sort of get. It's so it's out. painful. It is. It's something yeah. that's painful it's, to I watch don't... because it, it it's painfully funny. Yes. You know? Yeah. 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 Exactly. But um. But but I actually had so I had such a laugh not laughing. I had such a laugh doing this, which I didn't expect. I sort of maybe expected it to go in and feel like a kind of day at work, and it didn't. It honestly felt like I was back in secondary school, messing with friends and not wanting to get in trouble with the head nun who was Graeme Norton. Yeah, that's Graham, it, that's yeah, Graeme's exactly. a head nun. Because he's overseeing everything he's overseeing on lots of all. different screens, yes. so he's pulling you up if you misbehave yeah. and giggle. And, and an alarm goes off, like this big alarm goes off, and he comes in and goes, well, 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 and he'll like push it up on screen, and you're all sitting there going, was it me? Did I do it? I don't know. I, you did it. You're in trouble now. It's not me. And they show you and then you see yourself wobbling around on this screen like like CCTV and it's it's kind of, a, yeah, it's a bit mad. It's not what. like you can do a lot of prep for a show like that. No, either, exactly. You know? <laughs> the, the bits that you prep and you think that might make someone laugh don't even make, like you've sort of maybe nine ideas going in and you might get out one, but the rest is all silliness and reacting. So it's very playful. So the whole thing felt like a day of play. A play, yeah. yeah. It sounds pretty perfect. It's so funny. I got to watch one last night. It's so good. Um, last one, Laughing Ireland. It's out today, of course, yes, on Prime Video. On, on you have so much else going on as well, obviously, Ashley. There's a new Channel 4 drama coming up. Yes. Alice and Jack. Alice and Jack, yeah. And that's very different to Last with Laughing. It's um, a love drama set with Andrea Riseborough and Donal Gleeson another lovely, brilliant Irish person. And it's set over the course of 12 years of them sort of getting together and coming together. And I play Donald's wife and it's a sort of uh, beautiful, they're incredible, the two of them. And I also had a ball making that. It's just a gorgeous show. So that'll be out soon on Channel 4. Yeah, you've got this incredible balance and mix now of stuff that you do like it, it is brilliant actually look i loved you with ramesh and avoidance i love oh, ramesh anyway yeah ramesh and that was a great pairing as well i know you really enjoyed that i loved working with ram ram and i have been friends for years so yeah the new series will be out of avoidance soon 
yeah, it's nice actually. I think if you only do one thing, it, it sort of gets to fill up all different, I assume it's the same with like presenting and stuff like that, like to be able to jump between different subject matters means you're sort of filling out the whole I was talking type about measles your... 10 minutes ago. You yeah, know, exa exactly, <laughs> exactly. And now moving on to measles, what could be more natural? Ashling B. Um, but it is that being able to like discover the whole sort of sides of your interests and yeah. different things you like doing. And trying like with something like Last One Laughing, that's very me as a person and then it's lovely to get to go to work and become someone totally different with different emotions and feelings and that's sort of mm -hmm. feels like again your dress up box like you were a kid yeah well it's because you're so brilliant Ashleen and and like I say it's what? Christine I'll give you my fiver at the end I know it's absolutely you. yeah I just can't help it but I mean it so yeah. you know it's all good like we say last one laughing Graham's really good in it as he's well isn't brilliant. it brilliant oh I think he's it's back I think to his old form isn't it yeah he, well he is servicing so to speak so many people on his show where he's helping them come out of themselves you know and he's so incredible at that and what I loved was seeing Graham at home with Irish comedians being not having to do that he got to be as silly as he wanted yeah. and he's I mean he's so joyful in his own show but this is really Graham I think at his best I as well he's couldn't amazing. agree more it's all out today on Prime honestly go watch it it's it's properly funny. Thank you so oh, much. Thank Ashley, you so much. So good to see you. Bye, thank you. Now, Christine. And Evan, shout out to everyone in Newton Arts as well. Thank you very much. Yeah. That's uh, where I come from. I can't believe she actually knows where it is. That's so funny. Your Northern Irish is very good. Thanks very much. Very Thanks. Still to come.